Central to Joe Biden's re-election campaign is his claim to be transforming the U.S. economy, uh, bringing new life to old manufacturing areas in that famous rust belt of America. The U.S. government is pouring hundreds of billions of dollars of public money into the green industries of the future, including electric vehicles, microchips, renewable energy, partly to counteract China's dominance of these markets. Our economics editor, Faisal Islam, reports now from Kentucky. In the fields of West Kentucky, the farms are giving way to a different type of green harvest. The spades are in the ground. The excavators are shifting tons of soil. The United States of America is digging for victory in the green high-tech industries of the future, and they are in a hurry. Literally, we're shovel ready to go with our project um, when, uh, when we receive the support from the US government. It really is like the gold rush. This is, uh, you know, it, it's so big. This work started here at the Ascend Elements facility for electric vehicle battery parts the day after $500 million of government money was granted from their infrastructure plans and the new Inflation Reduction Act. Buyers of cars will also get subsidies only if they're made in America. The lithium, the cobalt and the nickel that are in... The result a, a is that these powders, the most expensive EV battery inputs, almost entirely made in China up until now, will, thanks to recycling old batteries, be made in America. And the US has leapfrogged Europe, second only to China in this market. This is no less than the total transformation of the US economy, with thousands of projects like this funded by trillions of dollars of public money in order to wrest control of the industries of the future from China. But it could also be the start of a giant carve-up of global jobs in those industries, because European governments are very worried that European manufacturers are also having their head turned and are setting up shop here in America now too. So the EU is going to do exactly the same thing, which raises very serious questions for the United Kingdom, whether to follow suit whether we can afford to follow suit, or whether it's just too late. If the UK is going to compete with what's happening here in the US, uh, you know, a similar level of incentives or favorable legislative um, uh, environment or framework needs to be put in place. And so you know, that, it, that hasn't taken place yet, uh, but it certainly could. This facility is focused on electric vehicle battery inputs, but a similar strategy is at work for microchips and for green energy. Indeed, the pylon servicing this facility transfers electricity from clean hydroelectric dams on the Tennessee River. Here comes the outline of the Tennessee Valley. In an echo of US history, those Tennessee Valley Authority dams were one of the landmark developments 90 years ago of Roosevelt's New Deal. He had in mind the tremendous national investment. But now, as then, the primary motivator here is not the environment, but jobs in left-behind areas. When they set this mine down, and you see this, this is just one of the, of the 100 mines that they shut down here in western Kentucky. These coal areas of the USA have been long left behind, and not just because of the transition to green energy. So these massive investments are being channeled by the Biden White House very purposefully into regions such as West Kentucky, a green form of America first. In some cases, old miners are being paid their union wages actually to fill in the mines and prepare the new green industry factories. It should transform the heart of the Rust Belt, but some doubts remain. When you hear the government, President Biden saying the Rust Belt, which is what we can see here, can turn into a battery belt, what does that make you think? We welcome the funding, we welcome the jobs, but I want him to come from Washington, D.C. down here and see firsthand how these people have suffered for yeah. several years now. Yeah. He needs to see it firsthand. Soon enough, the Rust Belt Railroad will be carrying electric vehicles rather than coal. The U.S. government pouring trillions in to ensure its green future is made in the U.S.A. But with economic consequences for everyone else. Faisal Islam, BBC News in Kentucky.